Hey y'all, it's Crystal with Beautifully Broken Crafts Hauls and more. I know it's been a minute since you guys have seen me. Um, real quick, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you choose to stick around and become part of this beautiful chaos of mine. Um, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. It helps out my channel. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment and all that goodness. So I was gone for a couple weeks. Uh, one, I was sick in the last videos you guys saw posted, which were from, I think I, the week of March 20th, maybe, is when those were filmed. Um, and then, well, I know I told you guys I've never been married. Legally, I've never been married, but the father of my children, we still say like my ex-husband or whatever, and his family and I are still close. Um, my ex-father-in-law, unfortunately, passed away on April 1st. It's been a very trying time. A lot of questions unanswered and things. The only thing I will say, I don't want to get into details of it all, as the family doesn't want all of that out, is just, if you have people in your family that you always assume are the strongest ones mentally, physically, emotionally, all that. You still need to check on them and see how they are. Because you never know what somebody's going through behind closed doors and when they're alone. So I'll leave it at that. And let's, cause like, I feel the tears coming. It's been a long couple of weeks, you guys. Uh, so let's just get into this. I do have a Walmart haul for y'all. And then it was my birthday on the 9th, which is why you see this stuff back here. Because I haven't taken, well, Peyton actually did all this decorating. We haven't taken any of it down yet. So I figured I would film here in the dining room where she had up this lovely rose gold little curtain-like thing. <clears throat> excuse me and these are all picture props that we just taped up and then she does have balloons going all around oh, there's balloons everywhere I'll take I'll post pictures if I can um I didn't want to celebrate my birthday really on Saturday I turned 40 which is a big milestone for me um just with my past and that anyways but the kids were like mom grandpap which is what they called my ex-father-in-law would want you to still celebrate your birthday and make memories with us. So it was just, it was very low key. It was the kids and I, my son's girlfriend, a friend of the family's and my ex, which is their dad. And we just played games and had some drinks and laughed and cried and all that stuff. So um, I will do this Walmart haul and then I will show you guys what the kids um, did get me for my birthday. I told them I didn't want anything other than all of us together, but my kids being my kids still wanted to buy me stuff and then their dad and my son paid for all the food and the alcohol and drink and whatever else. Okay, so let's just do this. It's most majority of this is all clear and stuff. Um, I picked up these. They're calling these ice tray molds. They were 75 cents. These ones are tulips. But they're silicone, and I like them because you don't have to use these for ice. You can use them to make candy in or DIY, and, like, you can actually put hot glue in the box. Excuse me. Nothing's changed. I still can't talk. Um, in the bottom of these and make, like, a keychain out of them or whatever. So these are just tulips. And then they have this one. Um, it's rainbows and suns. I think those are supposed to be sunbursts, so... I just picked up one of each, and like I said, they were 75 cents. I don't know what they were originally. Does it say what they were originally? 98 cents. So it wasn't that big of a difference, but it was less than a dollar. It was less than Dollar Tree, even before the clearance. So there's that. I feel like you guys are really high up. Uh, but I have my... Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I have my stand on the dining room table because I, I got a lot of stuff on the floor here to haul. Like, I've... Still shopped. I still had to get stuff for the house. I still had to do stuff for get stuff for Easter. 
you know, and then to be honest with you, shopping has always been like a therapy to me, like retail therapy. Um, so yeah, also, um, speaking of therapy and trying to make oneself feel better in times of sadness, I want to shout out my sweet, sweet friend, Fergal J. If you guys aren't subscribers to her channel, please check her out. I'm pretty sure most of you are. Um, but if you're not, please check her out. Her son, Joel, had a really bad motorcycle accident. He is in the ICU. She is away from home. She's originally from Florida. She's in Chicago right now, as that's where her son lives. She's going to be there for a while. Um, pl please show her some love, send some prayers, good vibes, all that good stuff. Everything Mari, Mari from Everything Mari, has set up a GoFundMe account for Jay and her son. I will try to remember to link it in my descriptions, but please, if you can, help her out. Otherwise, just go subscribe to her channel. Watch all the ads, because that helps with revenue for her as well. Um, but let's continue on with this haul. I did find a five-pack of... Oh, they're both clay masks. By Uncle Buds. I've never heard of this brand. They were originally $10, so I'm just hoping these are pretty decent. And this one is Renewing Face Mask, so you get a, a an AHA exfoliating, a moisturizing rice milk, matcha anti-aging, vitamin C with Tibetan sea berry and rose water in this one. And it says Face Mac. Oh, it just explains everything I just said to you. So there's that one. And then this one is a hydrating uh, face mask five pack. Uncle Bud's five dollars was originally nine ninety seven, and this one has an aloe soothing mask, a hydrating a pomegranate, oh hydrating pomegranate. Pardon me, relax me with lavender, pink clay, and purifying tea tree. So there is that one. So for five bucks, five for five. I thought that was a good deal, a dollar a piece, cheaper than DT. Um, this wasn't on clearance, but I thought this was a really good deal. They upped the count from 58 pods to 70. It's the Purex 4-in-1 Laundry Detergent Mountain Breeze Brightening Powerful Tough Boost. So you get 70 for $7. So I thought that was a decent deal. This isn't actually for me. I already have two bags of this downstairs. Um, I wasn't going to do an Easter basket for Mark because he's 22 years. Well, he's going to be 22 in May. But he gave me the guilt trip, so his girlfriend was like, just make him an Easter basket of, like, household stuff we need. So I got him a laundry basket. I'm going to put that in and some other stuff, and then that'll be that. He can take it or leave it. If he leaves it, I'll use it all. It doesn't matter. Um, Stick with some boring stuff. They did have this cereal, which was originally $3.98 for $2. It's the Magic Fruity Pebbles Milk Changing Color. I don't really care that the milk changes colors. But it's the Nike limited edition um, Fruity Pebbles. And you get 18.5 ounces in this. And this is good until January 15 of 23. So I didn't think that was a bad deal. I was kind of surprised to see that Nike um, collaborated with Fruity Pebbles. But hey, you go ahead, Nike. I love Nike, so... And then, okay, these two things are not from Walmart. I apologize. But I thought they were good deals, so I just threw them in this bin. I found this Reese's Puffs Bunnies cereal. You get 11.5 ounces. It's good until December 29th of 22 at Aldi's for two bucks. And I just figured, actually, no, I think I'm going to put this in Mark's basket now that I'm thinking about this. Because he loves Reese's Cups. So he should really love this. So that'll go over here in his stash of things. Because Peyton, she's got to be in the mid for cereal. And then I just picked up a box of Pop-Tarts. They're the Frosted Chocolate Fudge. You get 12. And this was like $2.50. So that's cheap for 12 Pop-Tarts. And that's the name brand. And these are good until uh, February 19th of 23. Anything else like it boring in this bin? I have a tote I'm going through, you guys. That is also part of this haul from Walmart. Um, but I just stuffed everything in it. Okay, so I um, went down the clearance aisle of Walmart. And I found this stuff for Miss Hoochie Mama. If you're new here, Hoochie's my dog. Well, not technically. I don't call her my dog. 
because they're that's my daughter's dog honestly my son marcus bought hooch for my daughter Peyton a few years ago and then marcus's dog willow she was a black lab unfortunately we had to put her down 2020 january 2020 or january 2021 2020 it was 2020 so two years ago now wow that went by fast um and then peyton has a cat that she got two years ago you guys probably hear me talk about him all the time because he's always doing something while i'm filming surprisingly not right now i'm knocking on the table um munch Loki is his real name, but I call him Munch or Fat Bastard. Simply because he likes to eat anything he can get. He's like Garfield. He'll eat Peyton's pasta or anything else he can get his hands on. Anyhow, so they had this three-piece set. Um, I got a medium because Hooch isn't that big. She's a Jack Terrier, Jack Terrier Russell and Pitbull mix. So she's not very big. Um... So this is for medium-sized dogs, 20 to 50 pounds, and it came with this turquoise collar and these two cute bows. I thought it was cute. But I thought even this bow could go on Loki Munch's collar because it's more boyish. And then that would look cute on Hoochie. And then they had the, oh, this three bucks. They were originally $9.97. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Clearly forgot how to do this. And then um, I picked up these bandanas for Hooch. They were originally $8.97 for $3. And this teal one just says favorite child. And then it has this one that matches this bow there. So I thought those were cute. Um, Peyton's at work, so she hasn't seen these yet. She doesn't really pay much too much attention to anything I buy until I make her look at what I bought. Um, they had a lot of stuff, a lot of clothes on clearance these past couple weeks. I'm sorry, I always fiddle with my hair when it's down. You guys know this. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I lose train of thought easily with everything that's been going. Anyhow, so they have a lot of clothes on clearance. A lot of, a lot, most of it's like hoodies and, you know, they're getting rid of the winter stuff to, and spring stuff to pull in the summer. Um, but I did pick up this hoodie. It was originally $14.98. I got it for $9. It's a Maya Angelou sweatshirt so i'll read it to you first and then i'll show you guys what it looks like but it says just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides just like hope springing high still i'll rise and it has this really pretty so it has the words going like arched around her head and then that pretty image of her with some florals i had seen this there a couple weeks ago I passed it up, but when they when I seen that it was still there in my size, they only had, well, it's not my size. I always get extra. I got a double X in this. I always get them big, hoodies big. Um, it was this size and I think a medium. I thought it was meant to be because it was still there. So I picked that up. Um, what is this? I don't know how I feel about this top, you guys, but I will give it a try. It's by Tide and Tide. Okay, by Time and True. It was originally $9.98, paid seven bucks. So that wasn't that big of a discount. But it's just this plain black shirt with some ruffles on it. I don't know. I hope you don't make me look bigger. I've been having my, what do I call it? Body dysmorphia issue. Like, I don't know. I got to get back with working out. I got to get out of this funk I've been in for a few months mentally and get with the program. Okay, you guys, but that, oh yeah, that's that. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's cute. I just hope it doesn't make me look bigger than I already am. Okay, then they had some leggings on clearance. These were originally six ninety eight. paid four bucks for them. They're just high-rise leggings. So I picked up myself a pair. Nothing special, just literally plain old black leggings by No Boundaries. And I got mine in the extra large. And then, eh, I picked up Peyton up here. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. And a small. Same exact price, though. So. Oh, my bad, y'all. I did forget one food item in here. It's these Olive Garden croutons. 
and I still have Olive Garden dressing in the cupboard. So um, these were at Aldi's for like three bucks. So I picked them up. Thought that was a good deal. You get five ounces, and they are good until May. No, March second of twenty three. So okay, back to the fun stuff. Now, if you are a part of my channel, hold on, I'm hot. Let me turn this fan on. Okay, if you are a part of my channel, then you know I like to wear like graphic tees, graphic hoodies, uh, retro like throwback stuff. So I found this sweatshirt. It's an MTV sweatshirt and it just says MTV World Tour. It is in a 2X. I don't care. I'll still wear it. It was originally $12.98 and I paid $8 for it. It's totally my vibe. I will rock this with a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings or a pair of sweats and just chill, chillax, clean the house, craft, whatever, whatever. Um, this was not on clearance, but I picked it up because it was, it was under 10 bucks. This is new for their summers. Summer? Yes, summer, yeah, because I already got the bikinis out and everything. Collection, I grabbed this in a 2X just because it looked a little smaller. It's a spring break MTV t-shirt and it's all tie-dye. I thought that was super cute. And this was $8.98. So, I will definitely wear that. So many MTV t-shirts. Lastly, for the clothes, I got this sweatsuit. Which is super cute. I've already actually wore this sweatshirt with a pair of jeans. Um, it is by No Boundaries. I did grab it in a 2X. And it's just this really pretty pink. And it looks like it has white paint splashes all over it. So that's the sweatshirt. And then I found the sweatpants. They were The sweatpants were originally $12.98 and I paid $7. And I want to say I paid $7 bucks for the sweatshirt too. But I don't remember the original price. But here are the sweatpants. So they're like cargo pants, but they're joggers. So I just thought that it was really cute, and I thought this would look cute with my juicy couture white tennis shoes I got from Penny's around Christmas time. So there's that. I did wear that other sweatsuit I picked up that I hauled in my last Walmart video that was purple, green, and cream tie dye. I actually wore it yesterday, Thursday. The 14th, so I wore and I got to go to Target finally. I'll be doing a haul for that separately because that's something, yeah, we got a lot. But I paid, I went to Ross and Target. Well, I'll do those together. I paid less than 200 bucks for everything, so I thought I did a good job. Back to the clearance. I found these click lights by Meridian. They were originally 460. That wasn't that big of a difference. I paid three forty for them, which still isn't. It's not a bad deal though, because you get four of them in here. Four tap lights provides instant light wherever needed. Dependable lighting for emergencies and power outages. Wall mountable or freestanding. Press the button to turn on. Press again to turn off. Um, requires three AA batteries in each, which are not included, obviously. But you get four of them. One, two. Three, four. Thought that was a decent deal. Less than a dollar a piece. They had some Waverly paint in the chalk and chalk paint in the um <coughs> excuse me clearance aisle today. This stuff is not all from today. This is like over the past two weeks, but some of it is today. Um, I just grabbed this Merlot color because it was a dollar twenty-five. That's honestly the only reason why, because usually Waverly costs more than that, so. It's not that bad of a color. It's like a maroon color. It's almost the color of my hair, so. Oh, my. Okay, so then I picked up these watches. One of them was cheaper than the other. I just don't know which. These are both for Marcus. So, he's probably going to get one for his birthday. And maybe one for Christmas. I I don't want to give him one for Easter because we don't go all out for Easter. Um, not that these are all out. Marcus, I had bought Marcus a couple years ago a watch case. And it houses 10 watches. 
because he had like a little collection and started. It was like four. And I had given him one for his high school graduation that I had engraved on one side. Well, he wants to fill the box. So I couldn't remember if he only needed one or two more. He doesn't care how much they cost because generally anymore, he just wears his Samsung smart smartwatch, but he will change it up from time to time. So when I found these and they come with accessories, I thought it was a good deal. And what he doesn't know, Mark, don't watch this video. <laughs> what he doesn't know won't hurt him. They were originally $15.98. One of these I paid $9.54 and the other one I paid $4.54, but I don't know which is which because... It doesn't, sh they show $9.50 on the tag. But when I scanned one of them, one of them came up at $4.50 and the other one $9.50. Anyhow, there's this one, it's silver with the blue face. And then it has these two bracelets that come with it. And Marcus does wear bracelets. So I thought that was nice. And then I got him this, like, darn it, what the hell color is this? My fridge is this color. Like a gunmetal gray, maybe? Uh, watch and it's got rose gold on the face and it's got two bracelets and a wallet with this one so I like that one a lot I don't know if you guys can really tell and this one was originally $15.98 as well it says $9.50 but I paid $4.50 for one of them I just don't know which one not a bad deal we're almost done with the haul you guys Ooh, let me bend my fat self over okay I did pick up some basket labels. They had these for $1.50 on clearance. Um, they're just clear, and you can write on them with like a dry erase marker. You can put stickers on them, whatever, whatever. And you can label your baskets. You get six of them. I don't know if you see those. Sorry for the glare, you guys. They're by Mainstay. But that was a good deal, um, being as I have no more hair. But I really like it. Um, I just picked up some hair clips that were on clearance. These were originally $3.98. I paid two bucks. They're long-lasting grip, no brake design, curved for comfort. This is by Gimme. So there's those. And then they had these really pretty, like, barrettes. I'll, I'll put one in my hair just to show you guys. They're by Heritage, which is a min, by Mindy McKnight. I don't know who that is, but her stuff can be pricey. So she must be something. She's something. She's a somebody. Um, but these were originally five eighty eight. I paid three bucks, so I got this color and like this um, like a yellow amber color, and they're rhinestoney looking. And then I got this jade green color. So they're just um, hold on, they're taped in there pretty decently. How y'all been? How's, how's your families? I hope you guys are preparing for Easter and have something fun planned if you guys do celebrate. So they're like an all alligator clip. Is that what they call them? Alligator. So I have no hair, so set out. I don't know. My hair. Now, I had it yesterday back in like little, not the butterfly clips, but the, the ones that don't have butterflies. I'm just normal clips. I had like four. That looked nice. I don't know. Sometimes when my hair is this flat, I feel like it looks ridiculous. Whatever. I don't care. I don't know why I'm venting to you guys about this. Okay, not that you guys care about these, but I'll see. These are the lids. I got one tote by Sterilite in this color, and then, then the one in this dark blue. I don't know what I'm Sorry, you guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. They're 18 gallons. I had them on sale for six bucks. When I find them on sale, I snag them up immediately. The stones are getting expensive, and I always need some storage around here for something. Even if we don't, I like having them just in case. You never, you never know. You never know. Okay, well, real quick, I'll show you what the kids gave me for my birthday, and then we will end this video. This last longer than I thought it was going to. Oh, because I kept losing my train of thought. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so this came, majority of the stuff in here came from Peyton, but then the kids all threw in on the card, so <coughs> I'll do the card first. And she paid $6 for this card. I've taught her better than that, but it's cute, super cute. It tied in the front, and it just says, Mom, from your daughter with love on your birthday, and it's got these butterflies. 
and they put money in here for me. So I'm sweet. Um, Mom, I should tell you more often how much I love you and how lucky I am to be your daughter because the feelings are always in my heart. So much that's good about my life today comes from having a mom who cared enough to raise me right and has loved me through thick and thin. I'm going to cry. You know? <laughs> For all the big and little ways your wisdom and caring have made a difference in my life. I love you, Mom. And then everybody signed it. So Peyton signed it. And she said, I love you. I hope you have a great birthday. <sighs> Our family friend Terrence signed it. I'm not going to read what he wrote, but he's a he's a, a sweet idiot. My son, his girlfriend, and two of her kids were here, so they all signed it. Um, yeah, that was super sweet. I save all the cards the kids give me in my nightstand upstairs by my bed. So there's that. Um, she knew Peyton knew I'd been looking for these damn friends lip balms so she found these i think i don't know if she found these at walmart or um or if she ordered these because i didn't see these ones at walmart i've seen different ones at walmart but she told me i wasn't allowed to buy them because she's like i'm just gonna tell you i already got you them um hold on you guys i'm trying to get a tissue sorry i'm sorry i just don't want my makeup to run <laughs> I knew something was going to get me, whether it was my father-in-law or that darn card. Okay. Anyways, they're, they're super cute. Um, one's chocolate, one's vanilla, one's caramel. I don't think they even had all these at um, DT. I mean, they never came to my Dollar Tree. But look at that one, isn't it? It's got, like, fake frosting. It's so cute. So she got me those. Um, Miss Peyton, as much as it drives her insane... Knows I love gnomes, so she picked up these two little fellas. I'm pretty sure she got these from Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? So these will go out in the garden once I start cleaning up out there. Um, she also got me this cute succulent. Oh no. Where'd it go? From Dollar General. It just looks like an old Route 66 license plate. And then, um, last but not least, from my sweet Peyton, she got me this really pretty jewelry box, okay? And you see that purple rose there? It's not real, but it feels real. No, it's not real. It smells like vinegar, kind of. Um, and here it says, with all my love always and forever. And then when you open the drawer, this was in a pouch. I've actually wore this already. It was this really pretty rose gold necklace. It has this heart. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like this. Come on, focus. There we go. But this little part here in the center of the heart, I wish I could show you guys, but it's, I use my phone to film, so it's not going to work. But if I hold my phone flashlight up to this, but on the back side, it'll illuminate on the wall or whatever I'm pointing it at if it's dark. And it'll show you what it says. So it says, I love you in every language in a circle. It's so sweet. So she got me that. It was super cute. I didn't know anything about any of this other than these. Um, oh, and that's like you like, because I was with her when she picked it up. And she's like, act like you don't know. You know how that goes. Um, and then Marcus and his girl, oh, and our family friend put money in there. Um, and his girlfriend brought me this coach purse that I got pen on already. Super cute. I didn't ask him where he got it from, if he paid for it, how much he paid for it, if he thrifted it. He probably thrifted it because Mark's been doing that a lot. And he gave me this Vera Bradley little ID holder. And he also gave me a set of four canvases. And these are sizes 12 by 16. Now this one is slightly damaged, but I told him I didn't care because I can rip this off and use the wood underneath. These were originally... $7.90. Nope. $12. Then marked on the $7.99. I highly doubt Mark paid $7.99 for this because he's just as cheap as I am. <laughs> okay, you guys. Oh. I wonder if I can do my thumbnail like this. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Sorry for being emotional. 
Sorry for being sidetracked, mentally, all that fun stuff. My bad, you guys. It's just life right now. It's life. I'm doing the best I can. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all so much for spending some time with me. You guys gave me 30 minutes in this one, and I have more for you all coming soon. So I love you all so much. Talk soon. Make sure to drop a comment with which one of my finds was your favorite finds in this haul. Mwah.